Hello, Internet. Nick Spear, who is obviously named Nick, was my date tonight. And I don't think I've had that much fun on a date in a really long time. So Nick's a writer, and he currently works at a magazine that discusses and reviews the gaming industry. He's also a freelance writer and on his final year of grad school. So our date was at a slam poetry night, and I didn't think that he was going to be performing, but he did, and wow. <laughs> Just wow. I had been worried that I would feel out of my element, because I've never been to a poetry night thing before, and what if he knew people? However, he'd never done a slam poetry performance at that coffee house, so we both experienced new things. As for his poetry, now I'm no expert, but it was beautiful. He definitely has a thing for language. But right now, I'm gonna go change and get comfortable because these earrings are kind of bugging me. Now I bet you're wondering, am I really dating more than one person at the same time? Absolutely I am. It's a lot of fun and it's been a great learning experience. Not only am I meeting new people and doing fun things and eating amazing food, but I'm also figuring out what I want in a partner. I do want to talk about my date with Nick though a little bit more. He was incredibly polite with, well, everyone, and it was a nice change of pace considering my track record. <laughs> he told me in person and in his profile that he's incredibly shy and introverted, but that's not who I met tonight. He's outgoing and open to talking to new people and doing new things. And after his performance, our conversation just kept veering from topic to topic, just whatever was popping into our heads. He's definitely a Gryffindor. Christina did make me promise to talk about her on my vlogs while she was away. In her words, by talking about her, she's here in spirit. Whatever, sis. But instead of just telling you how she's doing, I'm going to show you some photos that she's been sending me to make me jealous. Thanks. Now enough about my sister. We're all here to hear about my romantic life, obviously. The most common question my friends have asked me about JD and Nick is if they know about my vlogs. Well, it's actually on my profile now. Not that I vlog about my dating life, but that I vlog and it's about the people around me. Nick didn't seem really phased by the whole thing, probably because the gaming industry includes online video now. And aside from our first conversations, neither of them have brought it up. Honestly, it's refreshing to spend time with someone and not really be thinking about that part of my life. When it came to Leighton, it felt like something was looming over us, as if I should be ashamed about vlogging and enjoying it. And I'm not really sure where that came from, but I'm really proud of myself for being honest and open about who I am and what I want to do. I'm sure I'll end up discussing it more with each guy. It's an inevitable topic if we spend more time together. But let's move on to a lighter note, shall we? I plan on going on a date with each of them in the next week, and I will show the date outfits for the both dates in the next vlog. For now, my dick pic tally for the week is eight. Pretty brutal, actually. See you all next week.